Sport Network. All sport. All network. Coming up tonight, tune in for Hooks and Bullets with Virgil Flood, where Virgil and special guest He-Man Hulk Horton hunt grizzly bears au naturel. Here we are, up in the backwoods of the Colorado Rockies, with only our wits, my trusty hunting knife, and some common kitchen string. Right now, Hook's up ahead scouting. <laughs> Tonight on Virtual Flood's Hooks and Bullets. Hooks and Bullets. Stay tuned for Hoyt and Andy's Sports Bender. What are you doing? I'm fixing this stupid clock radio phone. I got free with my subscription to Swimsuit Illustrated. Well, what's wrong with it? Here, listen. See? Nothing was wrong with it. Wait for it. Oi, Kepley, I know you're there. This is Preston Ford Bush, your student loan officer. You still owe us. Oh, uh, sounds broken. What's with the dorky tie? Touch of class. Touch a dork, Mr. Buchenheimer. I think when the show starts, it will become apparent why I have haberdashed myself thusly. Whatever. Our show doesn't start to... Oops! <laughs> yeah. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Hoyt and Andy's Sports Bender. I'm Hoyt Kepley. Yeah, and I'm Andy. Andy Akers. Naked ladies! Playing basketball without clothing. Will it ever happen? Ace reporter Andy Akers takes to the hardwood and gets the scoop. So tell me now, you're a lady ball player. Will you ever get naked? Oh! And there you have it. Naked ladies playing basketball is not as popular as we thought. Boy. Ouch! Dumb question, huh? I best dumber. And speaking of dumb, it's time to trot the globe for amazing sporterific discoveries with Professor Andy Akers. Today's scientific discovery comes to us via Pakistan. Historians now believe this man, Sir Bartleby of Lopshire, crash landed in this land of mystery and intrigue and taught the peoples how to play many sports. But they turned them into one. Is it croquet? No. Baseball? Hardly. Paddleball? It's all three! A game so weird, there are no rules and no point. And that's it for Amazing Sporterific Discoveries! Uh, Boy, give me that stupid tie, Professor. What? The game's called Cricket. Huh? Your Amazing Sporterific Discovery is called Cricket. They play it in Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, and England, too. It's a real sport? Worldwide. Yeah, right. The name two players, smart. Guy. From Pakistan, there's Imran Khan, and from England, there's Ian Balvin. Sports incredible! How do you know this stuff? Unlike you, I am not some pathetic loser addicted to watching the All Sport Network 24 hours a day. There happen to be four what? other sport channels. Huh? There's Jock TV, The Sweat Network, The Tennis Channel, and of course, El Mundo Sportero One. Oh, sure. And next you're going to tell me there's a channel devoted just to science fiction. I'm not insane. I'm just saying there's other sport channels out there, and they're a lot better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, the All Sport Network is simply the best. Let's go to commercial. Sports Bandit. <sighs> We're clear. Ooh. Hey, guys, you have a couple of fans outside. Friends! <laughs> oh, <look out. laughs> what about the rest of your show? Stand back. Stand back. <laughs> no autographs today. One at a time. <gasps> hey, are you Hoyt Kepley? That's right. Where do I sign? Uh, can you get me Bill Blunkett's autograph? Please? Okay, but this is the last one. And I suppose you want to fill Blunkin autograph, too? No. My name is Preston Ford Bush, and... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, 
you know, being on TV is great and all. I mean, I've always wanted to do it, but it's the little things about this job that bother me. Like the time Hillary made us clean Phil's car with our tongues? Oh, it's not just that. I mean, just look at our snack area. Is that what this is? One side, boys. I've got a real show to do. I didn't know you were doing your show without your rug these days. Hey, it looks good. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Hey, you got me. <laughs> Idiots. Hmm. Yeah, they don't even afford hot coffee around this place. This is ice cold. It's not plugged in. Sorry. Listen, baby. I told you either he works with the monkey or he doesn't. Huh? Huh? What the? Sorry, baby. Gotta run. Hey, if it isn't my favorite clients. Who are you? Hi, baby booby. Please, with the third degree. Come on, it's me, Barry. Barry Leeds, your agent. But I don't have an agent, do I? You do now, Smoochie. Hey, listen, that, uh, uh, Andy? Andy, <laughs> take a hike, would you? I gotta talk to your pal here in private. Sure. Atta boy. Hey, Andy, Andy, hold it. Hoy, you want something to drink? Diet cola, salsa, maybe something? Forget it, Andy. Go, go! Hey, look, if this is about my student loan, I can explain. I... Hoy, my boy, your life, the life you have known to this moment, dead. Forget it. Don't look at it dead. The ED, but be disco dead, never to rise again. I want you to say hello to the new improved Hoyt Crapley. Capley. Yeah, fine. From now on, it's whatever you like, Mr. Big Time Sports Guy. <laughs> you see, Barry Leach just happens to be tight with someone who works at a certain broadcast entity. I think you know what I mean. Without, I should have to spell it out in your hand like Alan Keller. N Network? Bingo, puppy! So, the other night, me and my friend, we get to schmoozing. Turns out he's familiar with your shenanigans. Next thing we know, bang! I've swung you a deal! You mean I... Took the words right out of my mouth, sweetie. Here's the contract. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. What do you get out of this? Me? I'm just a manager. That means I manage to get by on my itty-bitty 40%. I'm on network TV. I'm on network TV. Network celebrity coming through. All right, far enough. Where I'm going, none of you can go. This down here is for you. Up there, big time network sports guys. Gee, Mr. Kepley, this isn't even a big game. I'm surprised that a man of your talent would cover it. Well, son, this network TV stuff isn't all fun and games. Mostly, it's free snacks. <laughs> Baby, love me cookie dough, come on! Huh? Well, are you in? The big green starts tomorrow. Of course I'm in. Hmm, tomorrow. Hmm, that doesn't leave me much time. Why, to pack up your stuff? No, to rub it in. <laughs> Now that man, ladies and gentlemen, was Phil Blunkin. Oh, I guess there's some late-breaking sports news. <clears throat> it seems that Hoyt Kepley is going to network TV, and I am a no-talent windbag. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blunkin! <laughs> Get a load of that! <laughs> oh. And regarding your termination, uh, effective immediately. Who is it? Message for you, Miss Philpott. All right, come in. Ah, here's a message from someone who wants you to know. He's leaving this station for a brand new show. He's leaving, so without further ado, or particular fuss. So long, you mean old shower puss. Okay, the hats are done, and I put up those cable sucks posters. I think that's about it. This baby is a free bird without a care in the world. A cable care, that is. <laughs> oh, moneymaker, I forgot to ask. How did, uh, what's his name, take the news about you leaving and splitting up the act? Andy, oh my God, my poor buddy. Bubby, you mean you didn't tell him yet? How could I tell him? Well, what with all the posters and hats and sayonara sucker cigars, I just haven't had the time. 
time to break it to him. Well, here's your chance, Bubbler. Okay, okay, think. What's the best way to do this? Okay, to the point. No excuses, just come out and tell him and be over with it. Hey, guys. Andy, I'm leaving you in the show for network TV. Good luck, buddy, I'll always remember you. Whew. Well, that wasn't so bad. Man, I thought it would have been a lot harder than that. What a relief. You know, you never really know how you'll handle a situation until it I'll take Marvin. I'll take Casper. I'll take the chair. No! Ah. <laughs> Andy, I'm leaving you in the show for Network TV. Good luck, buddy. I'll always you. That's the thing about Andy. He doesn't let things like this bother him. In a few days, he won't even remember old Hoy Kepley. Sports vendor. Maybe Andy can do the show by himself. Oh, not like Daddy can. Yeah, listen, if anybody wants me, I'll be in my office saving the planet from Meganoids. Well, looks like I'm not the only one who's shocked that loser Hoyt Kepley pinched my network job. I guess there's nothing we can do. Nonsense. There's only one way to snap this fella out of this. Somebody over there, rustle me up a donkey head, some chicken blood, and a large zucchini. Watch out. Coming through. Hey, move it. All eyes are on the wedge man as he steps onto the court. What's in the wagon, Wedgie? Wedgenheimer is about to give them what they've been crying out for. Who is that supposed to be? This is no time for hijinks, mister. <gasps> it's Hoyt. <laughs> A minute. That's not Hoyt. Oh, here we go again. It's better than Hoyt. Way better. Jimmy Pizza? Yeah, I want to order a large pie. Everything on it to the red rag top license plate network. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill that rat bat. Oh, right. Davey, you're late. Booby, this is network TV. They have rules. Relax, Barry. The Hoyt Man is here. That's right, the Hoyt Man. Hey, everybody, the Hoyt Man is here. Now, don't blow it for me. Suck in that beer belly. <laughs> Okay, now, I'm gonna introduce you to my friend J.C., the producer. He'll take care of you. You got it, Gushy? J.C., foo-foo, baby, come here, over here, to me! <laughs> J.C., I want you to meet the one, the only Hoyt Kepley, yay! Yeah, Pleased to meet Kepley, you're late. <laughs> That's okay. We've only got a few minutes. Let me show you around. This is the studio, and this is makeup. <laughs> you're on in five minutes. Hey, you know something? I never asked what my exact job was. <laughs> oh, his exact job. <laughs> well, what am I covering? <laughs> Football? Baseball? <laughs> no, weather. <laughs> You're our new weatherman. <laughs> You look like a real weatherman. Have I told you that yet? Uh-huh. A real weatherman. He really does. <laughs> Jack, Leisha, come over here. I'd like you to meet somebody. Jack, Leisha, this is Hoyt. He's our new weatherman. If, but I don't know anything about weather. Hey, who does? <laughs> you just have to make up some witty banter with Jack and Leisha and read the weather stuff off the prompter. I'm sure you'll do fine. Places, everybody! Give them hell. <laughs> and here we go in five, four, three, two. 
And now, Channel 5 News with Jack Champion, Leisha Shaw, and Hoyle Kapley with the weather. Good evening. For our top story, we go to our foreign correspondent in the Middle East, Shalomo Shlemio. Thank you, Leisha. I'm here in the sacred temple of the Golden Pig. Oh, I don't know, Jack. I'd rather have dinner with that pig. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gee. Well, Hoyt, what does the weather have in store for us this weekend? <laughs> yeah, my nine-month-old daughter, Caucasia, and I want to have a picnic this weekend. And she wants Uncle Hoyle to keep the wayman away. Oh, brother. What are you two talking about? I can't control the weather. It's nature for crying out loud. Oh, how about I put this here? And that means it's gonna rain. But who really cares? It's basketball season, right? And the game to watch tonight is... Whoa, okay, okay. Uh, that's uh, good for weather. Now back to me. What is wrong with you two? That's about it for the news. And thank you, Hoyle, for that sporty forecast. Good night and good news. Hoyle, boo boo. Get me out of this. Sweetheart, the money we're making here, I got a nut to cover. Besides, your cable bridge is burnt, baby. Oh, they'll take me back, all right. When they hear old Hoyt wants to be back on the bender, they'll be dancing in the aisles. One, two, cha, cha, cha. One, two. Pick -a -pick -a -pick -a -pick -a <laughs> that was our new cha-cha breakout. Hey, Hoyt, I've been meaning to ask you, what's your opinion on this whole strike situation? Exactly. There is nothing to say. The owners are screwing us. The players are screwing us. Bottom line? There is no bottom line. Only bottom. <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. The dummy knows sports. Speaking of bottoms, let's take a look at some female bowlers. Hmm. Ooh. Can you believe it? Sportsbender is now the highest rated show on this network. Don't they realize they're just watching some stupid dummy? I kind of like the new guy. And we're clear. <laughs> Uh-uh, girls. We mustn't be pushy. We just want to touch him. Psst, Andy, buddy. Oh, hello, Mr. Network. Andy, what's with the network stuff? It's me, Hoity. What, did you forget something? Maybe you want to rub it in some more about leaving your best friend for some high-paying network gig. Well, I'll tell you something, Big Shot. Oh. I don't need you anymore. I've got a new partner. And he may be just a dummy, but at least he won't destroy your friendship for a paycheck. Huh. So this is my fault! And now we go to our weatherman, Hoyle Kepley, and his coverage of Hurricane Tippy as it hits the Gulf Coast. Hoyle, are you there? I'm gonna kill the son of a bitch! Season, our special guest for ASN Sports Fender, Roy. No, the sky isn't falling, but the barometric pressure sure is foul here at the new Chicken Willie's on Seki. I've never told anyone this before, but I used to take steroids. <laughs> What is it? We're ready for you, Hoyt. <sighs> okay, Lamar, what is it this time? Another mall opening? Or maybe it's a retirement village? Oh, Mr. Weatherman, I'm 103 years old. Will you say my name on TV? Not this time, Hoyt. This time it's a brewery opening. A brewery? Yep, and you're wearing this. Huh? Uh, oh! Just oh. pick me up and knock me down. Look out, coming through, excuse me, watch your back. You fellas mind moving over? We're trying to tape over here. You're pretty bossy for a guy wearing a tin can. Maybe I ought to pull your tab. Ooh, I didn't know Mayberry had a comedy club. Which one of you guys is Floyd the Barber? All right, fellas, let's put some stuff on tape. Hey, this is Hoyt Capley, your roving wacky weatherman out here at the Buddy Beer Brewery. Gentlemen, 
It is a great honor for me to open this brewery. Help! Help me! <laughs> but it is even more of an honor to meet our Grand Marshal of today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Hoyt! Help! Here, buddy, let me give you a hand. Hoyt! Andy! Hey, Hoyt. Uh, how have you been? Long time no see. Yeah, well, you know, I've been keeping myself busy. Uh -huh. You know, dressing like a beer can, doing the weather. I miss you, man. Mm, me too. I'm miserable, Andy. Me too. I'm sorry I bailed on you, buddy. I, it was weak. Oh, that's okay, man. That dummy is getting on my nerves. He doesn't even like beer. I'm sorry, Andy. So am I, Hoyt. So am I. Here, give me a hand. <laughs> Never before has one come into our midst who so profoundly influenced so many with so little. Look at him up there with all those girls, all that attention. And in honor of this event, I would like to present Hoyt with the first and freshest beer drawn straight from our brewery. Oh, I can't stand it! Did you people see? He's not real! He's a fake! He's nothing but strong! Shotgun this! Who'll save the dummy? I can save him! I'm a tailor! I can make him live again! Let him through! He's a tailor! A tailor can save him! Three cheers for the tailor! Hooray! 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 Wow, Andy, you saved my hide! You would have done the same for me, wouldn't you? Maybe. But anyway, thanks. I must have been crazy to want to split up the dream team. Hey, beer's a wasting to Sportsbender. And cable TV. You first. <laughs> Figures. So, uh, Andy, what do you think will happen to that dummy? Eh, you know, people, they'll see how stupid he is and they'll drop him like a hot potato. And now, Channel 5 News with Jack Champion and Leisha Shaw. Good evening. Our top story, peace in the Mideast at last. Coming up, we have details on the peace plan brokered by a dummy. And coverage of the Dare to be a Dummy Walkathon. Stay tuned, won't you?